Stream thinking. Learning how to trust what is in your present moment. To get there requires some practice. This is what I do. One sheet of paper every day. Just 10 minutes. Write about whatever is moving through your presence of what is right now. No judgment, though. No judgment. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning to trust what is in your right now. This is stream thinking. Today we're reading from January 21st, 2023. Why do people dread doing things that need to get done? Wait a second, I've done my research. Research identifies dread as being a sense of uncertainty, a nagging sense of doubt, sometimes leading to panic attacks, getting sick to your stomach, even depression. And yes, there is such a thing as dreadful procrastination, usually caused or associated with very repetitive jobs or a lack of feedback. The most important thing to remember here is, is that dread and procrastination are not laziness. They're classified as mental health conditions. Learning to work with dread is my hardcore mission. I dread a lot of physical things, and when I'm late, I have to pay a monetary price. Why was I late? I dreaded it. I chose the fine over having to put myself through what needed to get done. We all have something that we dread. But what's the total cost in your personal life? Is it money? Heartbreak? Family time, workplace opportunity. What is your dread? Can you be honest enough with you about that dread? I have a beautiful forest here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. What I love about this forest is that I believe inside my soul it is stronger and more beautiful when it's natural. But my human eye, the one that's trained by those beautiful magazine covers, are going, no, no. I've got to get out into that forest and clean that forest floor up, but I dread it because it's work. More importantly, I know that when I start lifting up those heavy branches at 60 years old, I'm going to be feeling some pain. I'm going to twist something and then I'm going to pay for it for several weeks or several months. It's part of the dread. It's not that I don't like paying my bills. I just don't like seeing my bank account go boop, 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 boop. I dread it, but I end up paying more because... Yeah, I had to pay the fine, the fine of being late. It's not that I like being late. It's just I dread the boop, 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 boop. What about you? Do you dread falling asleep? There are a lot of people that I share conversations with that do not like to sleep at night. They would rather stay awake because the nightmares are so bad. They don't want to have to deal with waking up from something that they completely had no control over. I spend a lot of time researching dreams, but that doesn't make me an expert. I am not. But I use meditation as my dread identifier and releaser of pain. Is there such a thing? A releaser of pain? Getting rid of the stress caused by dreams you can't control? But I too dread going to sleep at night. I will watch that clock and when I hit a certain time, it's like, go, go now, go now, go now. Because... The closer I get to midnight, the more I can make it to two o'clock before that first dream, boom, hits me. I dread it. I don't think it's hate, but it's more like uncomfortable, insecure. And remember what researchers said. You do get sick to your stomach. You do get panic attacks. You do become depressed. And remember that it is not a sense of laziness, but rather it's classified as a mental health condition. Seek help. Get a professional to step into your moments of dread and try to understand how you can thin it out a bit. We all have dread. It's part of our everyday world. Do you dread going to social media, but you, but you do it anyway? And it's like, Oh God, why did I do that? Coca-Cola and Pepsi have these brand new products out constantly. I dread going into a convenience store because I'm going to go, oh, I got to taste that. And then I pay for it. We have dread in every step that we take. But can you get it under control? The answer is yes. I'm a daily writer. I'm also a defrag writer. That means I break it down. I ask the questions and I question the answers. It is so important to even stream think saying, hey, um, it was it was good that peep 
tasting Pepsi. But 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 let's break it down. What did it do to the inside core of your body? You gonna get a stomach ache now? Well, I mean, there there was some sugar. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Do some stream thinking. Have an honest to God conversation with yourself. And when you do, the dread kind of lightens up a bit. But I think one of the best tools that you can use, or what I personally have used, okay? First of all, meditation is very difficult because your mind won't shut off. It takes many, many years to master the fine art of meditation, to just kind of check out a little bit. But what I do to help me get into that moment where the mind eases up on its judgment is I listen to what I call head music. It's frequency music. You can find it on YouTube. Find your frequency and step free of your dread. I'm Errol, and that's Stream Thinking.